Yo guys and Toto and uh, welcome to another I guess Hearts of Iron or <laughs> Hearts of Iron uh, tutorial. Don't mind the anime portraits. It just gets tiring sometimes looking at the exact same portraits in the game over and over again. <laughs> but, so today we will be doing a actually last time I did a Hoi Four like okay uh, last time I did a Hoi Four tutorial I was actually wanting to do a different one and this is going to be the one we're doing today. Which is the, uh, I, oh, crap, it's been a while. <laughs> um, it's the, it's one where you go take a European state and you conquer Mexico. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to delete everything except this motorized division because we need XP. Second thing we're going to do, we need to boost population in Mexico and we're, because, and here's why. Mexico is guaranteed by the United States. So we want to get rid of this guarantee, so we're going to be cooing them to fascism. It doesn't really matter where you coo it. Like, we just want them to turn fascist and we'll be assisting the civil war. That way, once they're fascist, we can kill them ourselves. But we're just going to build up in our states. It doesn't really, like, honestly, civs, I'm only building some civs just because I can. Just also build up the infrastructure there, and then... By the way, building infrastructure, I'd recommend doing this if you don't. If you're building civs, especially early game, building up, if you have at least 15, I don't have 15, but if you have at least around 15 or more in the building queue, you should build some civs, uh, some uh, infrastructure because that will increase the building uh, speed of those civs. So for instance, like me going like this, because if you look at infrastructure, how it has a, oh, I'm not sure why it doesn't say it now, but it usually says like a plus and then it usually has a plus thing there. It's strange. I guess it's not there this time, but um, it'll, it'll increase your building construction speed. So the less infrastructure you have in that area, then the slower it'll build. Actually, the production key you have is fine. You just want artillery mostly. So two on support, five on infantry, infantry and four on... Uh, Five on artillery because artillery is going to be very useful for later and planes just do whatever you want with planes really and your navy your navy okay so this is the big part we need to take care of first your navy has a lot of out of date ships so we need to bring them all into our uh, we'll bring them all to a single fleet so I'll put them over here and we'll unite them so they're into the Kantai fleet alright so once our whole fleet is in the Kantai doesn't have to go to Kantai, I just thought I just thought it's a nice it's a level ten naval base, I'll put it there. Once they're in Kantai, you want to take out all the 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 nineteen thirty six ships. Like so I believe it's nineteen thirty six. The up the, the the level I'll just say tier two ships, if you get what I mean. You just want to take all of them out into the new fleet. So like I mean submarines don't really matter. You don't have to have them in your own thing. So just take all them out. Put them in their own thing and say maybe send them to Kanto. Now all the tier uh, the tier two ships that you have in production should go to this fleet, the one that's going to be over there, because you want to have as many of those into that fleet. So you'll have a carrier and some some uh, of those, which is nice. You don't really need cruisers and whole. I'm, I'm, I'll get into why I've divided them into two fleets here. I've taken the up to date fleets out of this It'll later on. Oh, also, if you're wondering, I, I forgot to say this at the beginning. If you're wondering why I chose the motorized division, it's because it has the most in it. I mean, the infantry division is quite close. It doesn't have the extra support of company. So, a company? Uh, I think I just said that, but whatever. It doesn't have the extra support company, so that's why I've chosen the motorized, and most people do if they're grinding for XP. Uh, you don't have to touch the... I actually wouldn't recommend touching this division or making it bigger. Just, like, just keep it as it is, grind it out, and just uh, put the XP where you're wanting to put it. So, speaking of XP, we're going to be doing the uh, army expansion law. That way we'll get even more XP, just for later. And what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to increase your naval division up to this kind of template. If you... Oh, I clicked the wrong... I clicked the... Definitely the wrong thing. I thought I clicked it. So this is the kind of division you want for this. And your infantry division, you just want to move these and add that. Honestly, I personally, I just move it here because it looks better like that. 
in my opinion, but you want to have this. You kind of want to have the same thing. This one's going to have artillery in it. That'll just give you extra, um, that'll just give you extra soft attack when you're landing. So it'll make it easier to, to break into areas that are being held. Also, I would recommend going for disperse industry because it gets, I, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to be trying to produce a lot. You can go to war China later. We're not focusing on China right now, so. And I usually just go dispersed because it gives me extra production efficiency. And uh, production output. The retention in base. And it gives the same amount of uh, the other kinds of uh, output. Like factory output and stuff. So you're going to want to go down to, uh, you can grab, you want to have this. This focus you want to have by the time like just before or before the civil war goes off you need this focus done if you want to rush it you can you could also go to this so if we look how many how many how many can i do in that period of time so i have almost 70 i have almost 140 days on it but then 35 more so i have about so one two three four i have about a little under five focuses i can do so i'd honestly recommend going for this or, uh, you could go for it first, but you can also probably get to uh, nationalization law. You cannot squeeze in the research slot. <laughs> I just just grab the research slot after the war, like or during the civil war. So, but you'll need co-prosperity sphere. Also, with the XP you've gotten from the focus, you can add it onto this, and you can also add. I'd recommend doing the support artillery because it's more efficient that way. And you can just move the other one around. And now you only have one more thing to do. Honestly, if you have the XP, always add support companies first. <laughs> it also might be good to get the interwar artillery. Just grabbing that just for the extra uh, bonus for combat. And these are divisions we want to have. These two divisions. We can stop training. We don't really need any more. And we can convert this motorized to the... Uh, Hohei de Shidan division. You want to have at least one army group ready. It doesn't have to be a full army group, but a full army group would help. Alright, so you want to grab that. The Greater East Asian Corp Prosperity Sphere. And then pretty much you could do whatever you want after that. Just grab the these and then maybe the mills. And also, if, if you are building... Uh, if you're going to be building mills afterwards, I'd honestly recommend also adding on to... Uh, Naval bombers because we're gonna need them later. Right, so just quick deploy these. It's it's easier that way. Just add these guys on there and train them, and then add these guys onto here. Just put it like a fallback line or something for them to join onto. All right, so generals. Honestly, I haven't done this in a while, so I'm gonna look at them. <laughs> these guys, is, that guy's better. I feel, and then maybe having ooh, this guy's. And there, this one has better supply. So I, I feel like adding, choosing that one instead would be a better choice. Having the one with the better supply stat than attack stat. They both have the same one where they add, uh, they add one attack to them. But I, I honestly just choose the one that gives more supply because it'll make it easier for naval invasions. All right. So once this is finished, we can go to the uh, guide the Zaibatsu. Yeah, if they're going to form the Chinese United Front, I mean, that's it's fine. This usually is the time where we do this one, <laughs> but we're not doing that. So they have a substantial amount of fascism now, which is really good for us, because that means it'll be a lot stronger during the during the Civil War. If they have at least 40, they should have a, around half the divisions, which is what we want, because we want them to have... They want them to at least hold till we get there, so... <laughs> All that research is done, so maybe grab that since we are going to war soon. Then maybe add the better fighter. Then the radios might be better too. All right, once once these are done, you don't really have to really focus on anything else. I mean, we could deploy another, probably a, a near. We almost have enough to to deploy another army group. We need about twenty four thousand infantry equipment to do so, but. Alright, we are not going to, I mean, it, it honestly, it's really up to you whether you want to join the anti-commentant pact. 
Part of me just wants to say no, but we want to join Germany anyway. I, I mean, yeah, we're going to, we're going to be joining Germany later for reasons. So when, once you have your full army in there, which our army is ready now, we can start training that. We want to get, at least get it up to uh, trained. <laughs> You could get out to regulars if you if you have the time. I say it might have actually been a good idea to grab the destroyer twos. So the the fighters we don't really need the fighters at this time, but after these civs have been built, we want to also want to also build up around here. Actually, it might be good to build now. Yeah, I say I just start building it now. And so these guys are fully trained. So once once it says like, oh, you know, I was gonna say once it says 190, you should send your divisions over. <laughs> I was not paying attention. <laughs> All right, so these guys we should immediately probably send them over. I mean, this these guys are what we want to send over. All right, so the coup has been staged. Now we can invite the junta to our faction. We want to get our divisions over there and help them out in taking that. And we want to bring our naval divisions over to the island that we've just started building up. And we want to invade probably around here. All right, so they'll make their way over. Not sure why they're going the long way around, but. I'm not, I'm not sure why the division's going that way. All right, so they have nine to their seven to thirteen, so she should about. They have about half, which is good. And this we're gonna add. We're gonna do these because I mean we should have done it while they were still ahead of time. Ooh, they actually encircled the division. Good on them. And they kill. They can't kill it though. Our divisions are almost in Mexico. They told, and they're gonna to go to this port instead because that port they were trying to go to is no longer controlled by the Mexican junta. Oh, and they've uncircled it because we really need to get here. <laughs> okay, so we can't get there. So they're encircled now. They're losing. If we don't help them, then we're gonna to have to do something. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just find the U.S. Request to join the. They will not let us join. They're supposed to let us in, but I don't know. Okay, cancel justification. Just get the world tension back down. We don't want anyone taking advantage of that. I wonder if they'll let us in now. Let's see. A lot of political power I have to spend to try this. But yes, they will. They'll let us in. There you go. And cancel justification. Now we're in the war. Because we don't want the US joining this war. <laughs> there you go. All right, we don't want to go to total mob because I'll ruin our our um, <laughs> manpower. So I'm just gonna start doing these. All right. So what you want to do now is bring this division down here with your uh, naval divisions, and let's check our naval range, which is actually good. All right. So let's put a person on here because be good to have someone on there. All right, so since our naval range is good, we can start doing this. There, there, and there. Combine to two, just so it's easy. Or actually, maybe not. Just go like that. All right, so now here's the plan. We're gonna kick Mexico out. We're gonna delete, delete our faction. We're gonna join the Axis. And we're gonna justify on the Junta. And the reason why we left the act, uh, the reason why I can't speak, <laughs> the reason why we got rid of our faction and did that is because they will join, just like declaring war on El Salvador, on a Venezuela, they will join the Axis if we don't do that. So, are, are they, they coming? They're not coming. Okay, hold on. That just, just get them manually going. I guess if they don't go on their own. And the reason why we wanted docking rights, I'm pretty sure I had this problem the first time I tried like recording this and then I didn't bother, is uh, the reason why we want docking rights, I believe we won't stretch out far enough on, on our own. 
I'm pretty sure that's what happened with when when I tried it before. So is uh my my navy did not reach. And that's why we've been building up this so that we can house our divisions here, which they should all fit. Oh yeah, but they definitely fit. And honestly, we don't need to build that up anymore. Just, yeah. Put it back on the sieves. The sieves at the moment are a little more important. I okay, this is just me. I usually go for supremacy of will. I'm not gonna I never do really do this one. Even though it has some stuff like this, it gives you more technology. I never really grab it. I usually just do supremacy of will, and I believe you also get to do Yeah, you get to do this one, which is it's bicycles. Why why would you want not want to have bicycle divisions? Who wouldn't want that? <laughs> Alright, but now we actually have like power so we can grab I'd gra recommend grabbing the silent workhorse because that just gives you us even more. Oh yeah, um, little little thing, little thing. Just just letting you know. If you click this while you're at war, I think last time I did this, I was I. Okay, I might might be wrong about this. Just so just keep this in mind. I might be wrong about this. It did happen to me though. I abandoned the naval treaty while at war with Mexico. This Mexico, like Mexican junta. United States got a war goal on me because they didn't they didn't like that I left. And the moment I kill I killed Mexico, they declared war on me. And why is this? A, I'm gonna say this is a good thing. And why is this a good thing? It's a little little trick you can do. If the United States declares war on you, to the other way around, because when you declare war on the United States, they go immediately to like uh, I think they go to partial mob, and they get limited conscription, and like th these go immediately off of uh, what they are. They go towards. They, they get out of isolation immediately if you if you declare war on them. If they declare war on you, they don't lose these. They, they, they keep these. They keep the Sarm Nation. They keep undisturbed isolation. So if they declare war on you, those divisions they have, you you encircle them and kill them, they'll be gone. They, won't replace, they cannot replace those because they don't have the industry to do it. I mean, they have a shit, shit ton of civs, but they don't have the industry, like the military industry to do it. They can't replace those divisions. Especially those bigger ones, so I think they're like the national like the National Guard or something like that division. The ones that have they are kinda like the ones we had where they well they exactly the same ones. They had like a twenty four width. Yeah, those divisions, if they if they do if they declare war on you, which is a good thing because then you get the whole United States, uh yeah, they will they will not get be able to get rid of what of that stuff. Alright, so our war goal is finished for the for Mexico, they don't have any guarantee and they will not join the Axis. So now we can just naval invade them. The reason why I naval invaded here is because it's a single state. And actually, <laughs> funny enough, we won't probably won't be able to push all the way up here because of the uh, one, the supply is not great, the infrastructure is not great. This is a level one port. The only reason I'm going here <laughs> is because it will be easy to then do a second naval invasion here. And the only reason I'm doing this is so we can get our divisions over here. There should really no, but not be anyone here, I don't believe. If, or if there is, they're going to be pretty garbage. Yeah, there's no one here. Alright, so we're just going to sit here. So delete this. Go here. Because we'll break that easily. You come over here. So we'll get rid of that. Over here. So if you've noticed, I have deployed another army group. Because, uh, I mean, we don't really need the army group. I just think it'd be good to have, like, just to have it. Also, it's always a good idea to grab this ahead of time. Just because, well, I mean, the better artillery you have, the, the stronger your divisions are going to be. So just wait for these guys to at least get close. Because now they'll allocate divisions from here, uh, from these area to here. And we can, this... This port cannot hold those divisions, so now we can just go boink, like that. They will invade here, so now no one's here. And now we have a much better port, a level 3 port. Go here, you here, here. And we're gonna hold. You're gonna go here. Nope, hold, go here. We don't want that port. <laughs> just go on aggressive, and we can just go. There we go. Alright, so the, that goes one of the re, re, uh, requirements. Now, my initial, my initial, when I first was trying to figure this out, 
my initial plan was to just fire on Portugal because that's what it did to do. Uh, I just realized Sunset Invasion was actually the one with Mexico to go take a European state, and that's what I did is I invaded Portugal. Uh, don't do that. Now we're gonna wait. We're just gonna wait for Germany to go to war with the Allies. All right, so now they have to claim War of the Benelux, yeah, because they defeated the the Polish. And the idiot French will move into the Benelux to try and defend it, which will be fruitless. Oh, yeah, I can bring my planes over, too. That'd be good. Let's bring over to, like, a, I don't know, a stupid, stupid one Germany's not using. Netherlands is gone. Now Belgium will be gone soon. We're not going to be helping Germany. I should bring these guys over now. So let's go like this and we'll go like that. They should be in Mexico, right? Yep, here they are. I don't know why that wasn't showing up. Or maybe I was just blind. Yep, we'll let Germany just do their thing over here. And they did their thing. Now they're... Because <laughs> France put all their divisions in Belgium and they got... Now they're trapped in Belgium. I think they take Paris? Take Paris, come on. Germany, please. Paris is wide open. Oh. And France capitulated? Yeah, they capitulated. Right? Yep, there you go. All of Paris. Once we get, once our Marines get over, honestly, actually, it might be better to put them here. Right here in Dieppe. Is that Dieppe? Uh, Dunkirk. Oh, that's Dieppe. Whoops. Yep, Germany and Italy really want me to join. I was wondering why I had no fuel. Jeez, they're... <laughs> they're <laughs> my fleets are um, escorting the con... My, my VIP <laughs> naval uh, marines over here. Let's go. Ahead. Oh yeah, because I was like, why is it 28? Because I have four of them on it, right? Denmark doing the allies, alright, that's fine. I'm gonna keep, yeah, I'm just gonna keep most of this in. So what you're gonna wanna do now is, yeah, once the naval invasion is ready, we can join the war. And let's bring them down here. Britain should not be garrisoning Dover, yeah, they are not. It's way too early. France has capitulated. It's gonna go on aggressive. Just go. You're gonna go. I'm gonna put one of you here. You are gonna go on convoy escort. Just so they don't get killed. Then you are gonna have your offensive line go up there. And then once we've taken up to here. Like, once we've taken up to here, uh, we'll bring in the, uh, the other army group. Because there, sh there should be enough supply. Yep, there's now there's enough supply. There you go. Now we can bring in this army group. Why Why do they go Why do they go down there? There's a perfectly good port they were standing on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to take you guys off, because I don't want you killing yourselves. And you go over there. You just sit on that port for now. Yeah, and you assist in this battle. And uh, you assist in this battle too. So yeah, we're just going to take Britain. Before any of their colonies become majors, there's still a major, which we'll easily be able to kill them. The only reason we brought our planes over it was just in case our, fli our uh, air force was not able to uh, win the battles. That's why we had. That's why we were producing uh, naval bombers, so we could take the English Channel in case it wasn't enough. Because sometimes the British do put enough ships in in the, the English Channel to control it and have supremacy. So it's usually just a precaution. 
And look at that. Britain, we're going to take Britain, or part of Britain at least. Uh, yeah, I don't really need anything else. There we go. And that should be the achievement. Because we all we need to do is control Mexico and control a state in Europe, which we control most of Britain. Oh, half of Britain. Or the... Yeah, half of Britain. We control half of Britain, so... Alright, so that should be the achievement. I usually go try and take Brittany, but... Uh, the... Vichy France is the thing. Well, Vichy France gets it all back, so... I think I did it in an ahistorical game that one time where I took Brittany, so whatever. You could do a historical, a historical, a historical actually might be easier than this. I don't know. So, yeah. Alright, so that should be, should be the achievement. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one.